Here are a couple views of the Ramblance before beginning. The first thing I did was pull the window and its aluminum trim and create a plywood filler panel. This panel consisted of three three-quarter inch pieces of plywood of different dimensions to perfectly sandwich the window frame. The next step was to install the hard start capacitor I had purchased on Amazon. This capacitor aids in reducing the starting load of the air conditioner compressor and is installed inside the AC unit. There are several YouTube videos on the installation if you're unsure of what you're doing. After that, I cut out the center section of the plywood surround and fit the AC unit into the window. As you can see, it does not protrude beyond my spare tire. This should save the air conditioner in case I back up to a fence or other object. Finally, I constructed a cosmetic trim to clean up the exterior appearance of the installation. I checked it for fitment and then installed it. Unfortunately, it ended up cracking in one corner during the installation, but the liquid nails adhesive that I used to glue it to the plywood surround held everything together. Later on, I went over the cracks with white silicone for both waterproofing and cosmetics. Got the outside about as finished as it's going to get. I will, uh, I'll get some more of this weather stripping and go all the way around the outside of it to finish it up. But otherwise, it looks pretty good. I put the screen on to protect it from fingers and bushes and such so the fins don't get tore up and bracketed it into place this thing's stout it's in there good so that's my air conditioner i'll go show you the inside now the ac looks like from the inside i haven't finished trimming out the inside i want to make sure the outside looked good so it didn't look like some ratty van um, it's right at the same height of my mattress. I'll have to be conscious of not blocking the intake, but otherwise it's, it's in a good place. And it's easy to control. And it only consumes about three inches of uh, interior room. Not bad. We'll get that trimmed out soon enough and have it match the rest. As you see, the back end of the van has, has not been completed. And I gotta remove this big old box I used to have my exhaust fan on and I'll put a small six inch fan in its place. So, this is my inverter. The air conditioner is currently running. Um, I have it at a low temperature, so the fan is only running right now. But I wanted to show you is how much that starting capacitor helps with the initial um, surge when it kicks on. See that power level there? You actually don't see anything right now. And in a minute, you'll see it pop up. And then you'll see its max peak and followed by what it's, it's running um, consumption is. That's pretty impressive what the starting capacitor did. It used to take about two seconds of maximum power for uh, for starting. And now it's just a little blip. There you go. And you see it's barely consuming anything. It's just into the third bar barely. Actually, I consume more um, running my coffee maker or my uh, electric drill or something. So, starter capacitor made a huge difference. Well, oh, you can't see it. 12.3 while running. That's line voltage, so it isn't my actual battery voltage. When the uh, compressor cuts off, you'll see that uh, the actual battery voltage is, is much higher. And compressor just cut off and you can see battery voltage is climbing back up to the 13.3 that it was at. Where it won't. 
<laughs> it's, it'll get there. <laughs>